Hey guys, welcome to Billboard Philippine Scenes, the show where we take you to the people, places, and communities that make up the local music scene. So for today's episode, we are on the way to Cow Manila for Billboard Philippines Off the Charts podcast launch, riding in the new Hyundai Staria. With me today are podcast producer Anton Molina, editor-in-chief Brett Jackson, and managing editor Jason Cavalia. Without further ado, let's get this show on the road. So right now, we are here at the back of the Hyundai Staria and you know, Despite being three of us here, we have more than enough space and legroom. You know, this is kind of like the perfect car to, you know, use going to gigs, right? With the launch of the Off the Charts podcast, what do you hope that listeners can take away from the show? We hope that listeners can take away a lot of insights about the charts. How certain artists are popular, how certain songs are popular right now because the current listening habits of Filipinos and how they consume songs. It's not just about discovering them on streaming or on the radio. It's because they get viral on TikTok. There are a lot of things. There are a lot of things that contribute to the popularity of a certain song. The listenership is not just limited to people in the Philippines. And you know, it's it's there are a lot of things that basically contribute to how a song gets on the. Who chart. is your favorite chart topper on this week's Billboard Philippines Hot 100? Of course, over October, Liza Maturans, Makis Dalaw is really catchy. Like, it's always an amazing experience whenever the whole music industry gets together. Overwhelmed until now, na nangyayari siya kasi the song's like a, a year old. Uh, until, and ngayon, nasa like, billboard charts pa rin siya. Uh, ginagawa ko ng mindset talaga na hindi masyadong isipin eh. Kasi parang I just, I just wanna like continue writing out of authenticity and not about the, the streams or the or the views. So, kasi pag ginawa mo yun, that's when you get the streams and the views. More than more than the charts, ang sarap marinig na nakaka, nagiging instrument yung music ko sa mental health ng bawat isa. Like, coping a thing for them to, alam mo yun, makatulong tulong sa maraming nangyayari sa isip eh. Na sobrang happy ako na yung music ko isa sa mga rason sa pagpapakalma ng isip nila. And that, that's more than anything. Sobrang thankful ko po sa Billboard kasi way back March, uh, audience ako nung Women in Music. From audience tas nasa chart na ng Billboard. Full circle moment talaga. Sobrang sobrang saya. Nakakataba ng puso. Yung songs namin na yan, matagal naman nang na-release yung, yung tingin. Ganon. Pero nakikita namin kung gano'n siya ka-organic kung pa paano yung nagiging impact niya sa mga listeners namin at sa kahit hindi listeners. And we're glad to be contributing sa OPM. And we're living for that movement. Grabe, I feel so overwhelmed. Um, lahat ng idol ko nandito. And I, re- I feel really great because I get to see my name on the charts then sa big screen with all of my, ano, along with all of my idols here. So, grabe, everyone, everyone's cheering for OPM. So, marami marami salamat. party was off the rails and we hope you enjoyed it just as much as we did. This is Gab Saulog of Billboard Philippine Scenes and we hope to see you on the next episode. Billboard Philippines